After sorting out the starting issues on the Wonder Wagon, I'm back to where I started. Turn the ignition on, glow plug light illuminates, turn it to start, engine turns over really strongly, no fire. So, I'm going to be relaying the wires, three particular wires, um, from the ECU back through to the fuse box, which are prone to breaking and cause a lot of starting issues from what I've read. So that is the black and white wire, the black and yellow wire, and a thin black wire. So I'm going to replace those entirely from the ECU to the fuse box. So wish me luck. Here we go. This is the outgoing ECU connector from the ECU which I've bagged in case it rains. And you can see that this loom has previously been repaired where I found broken wires. And then on the main ECU side, which runs to the fuse box, these are all the, the wires here. There weren't any breaks, which are quite common in these over the top of the engine over there below the brake booster but I did have to repair the black and white wire over here so I'm going to replace that black and white wire from the ECU all the way back to the fuse box as well as this thin black wire which is also prone to breaking and causing issues it's incredibly thin and a black and yellow wire that's in here as well replace that all the way back to the ECU as well just to rule out wiring being the cause of the van not starting because the fuel pump timing has been done by a specialist so on the wiring diagram titled current flow diagram number 80 section 3 you can see this is the black and white wire that runs from the relay uh, in the fuse box through junction um, G1, terminal G1 to, and pin number 7. I know that it's a white plug on the back of the fuse box. And then this black and white wire runs through to the T121 which is the 121 pin ECU plug which is that one, the bigger one. And it goes into pin number 18. Well, I don't know if it's pin number 18, but there is only one black and white wire that runs into the larger ECU plug. I've checked all the other wires. There is no other black and white wire. It is simply just this one here. So I'm going to remove this wire from this connector, take off the little terminal at the end and replace it with a new black and white wire, which will run all the way through there. I'll feed it in through the grommet to the back of the fuse box and connect it into plug number G1 terminal seven. Now the terminal plug is quite easy to separate. You have to remove this purple divider which sits between the two groups of wires that come into the T1 to 1 and then you have to remove that purple gizmo there which just simply slides out. You have to get a little pry in there and loosen it and it pulls out and then you take hold of these wires and gently pull them and it will separate from the plug. There are videos on YouTube showing you how to do that. I've done it before with this plug to check and see how easy it was because that plug has got numerous wires that need replacing. I'm going to get rid of all of these soldered joints and replace them with fresh wires because I'm getting fuel pump malfunction errors fault codes so 
let's separate this baby separate the wires and then you have to remove this divider it just slides out like that what it does I'm not too sure and then you have to get this purple one off gently work this out without breaking the plastic because it is after all a good few years old gently work it out you can see that it's coming out there get a hold of it work it out there we go so it's like a prong piano tuning fork and that's it the black and white wire is over there see I'm just gently pulling it out that's the rubber seal which has a little bit of oil in it interestingly enough and there are the pins and the black and white wire which is this one is that pin over there this little rubber thing the seal does slide away a bit you can see like that so I need to be sure that I put that back afterwards in order to remove the pin I need to release it there's a little catch over there so I've got the smallest of the little tools on this collection of pin release tools I guess you could call them I'm going to insert it there's the black and white wire I'm going to insert it into that little hole over there just to push the pin catch back and then gently pull on it and you can see it sliding out of the connector there you go it's now released I move the seal back a little bit interestingly enough for future reference of those who might watch this video each of the pins in the ECU actually have the unused ones actually have uh, pin terminals in them already so if you were to ever lose or damage one or add, wanted to add new wiring for whatever reason maybe you change the ECU add some options to your car VW transporter this is the late 99 plus version there are spare terminal pins in here which is good because trying to get them is quite hard so I will want to remove that pin and then connect a new wire to it get the pin there it is so that is the pin connector female and if I pull on it gently it just comes out further forward so now I'm going to release the wire from the female pin connector terminal over there it's not soldered on or anything like that it's just gently crimped over there and then I'll run a new wire uh, this is a 0.35 gauge I'm going to be using 1.0 millimeter squared because that's what an auto electrician said that I could use it'll make it a little bit more robust and less prone to breaking I have opened up the two little flaps that fold over the wire hopefully you can see this on the GoPro um, so now theoretically I should just be able to pull this out uh, there we go just a gentle pull and the female terminal connector has come away from the wire and interestingly there is no wire on the end no copper extending from the wire going into the end of the pin it just relies on the fact that that end of the copper wire butts up against the face of that so I can imagine that if this were to pull back slightly you wouldn't have a great connection for those of you wondering that little 
connector terminal female is 1.5 millimeters big and 13.4 millimeters long once I removed the female connector off the end of the wire it was then just a matter of pulling it back through the seal so I've made a note of where it enters and it goes into pin 18 which is just barely visible actually on this connector strip here I bought 10 meters of black and white one millimeter squared thin wall copper wire which I'm going to replace the factory 0.35 wire with let's uh, let's start laying this from here through over the top of the engine to the fuse box I've got my old wire and my new wire which I've threaded out over across the engine bay what I'm going to do is I'm just going to anchor this before I thread it through the bulkhead so I need to find the hole in the seal and just gently push that through there we go so that I know how long this needs to be and you can see that that is where it will sit like that it's a little bit fatter than the original one but that's okay I'm going to strip back the cover a bit so it makes a really good connection there give it a little bit of extra like that so I've now got that anchored and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a separate conduit for the wires that I replace here's the new black and white wire which I've run across the top of the engine I'm now going to feed it through the grommet hopefully into the fuse box area and just push that through you can see it going through there give it a little bit of assistance there we go it's going through the boot and it'll now come out behind the dash above the fuse box and I will ret retrieve it there the wire from the bulkhead engine side comes through that aperture and the firewall which you can just make out there in the shot you can just see the black and white wire as well and there it is I can just fingers to it there we go there's the new wire coming through give it a little bit of length before I drop the fuse box down and find the connector on the back so here we are underneath the fuse box and here is the little black and white wire which runs through to the ECU that I'm going to replace that is the center connector the white one here there's three of them it's the center one that has this little black and white wire running into it you'll also notice that the thin little black wire that I plan to replace is also in that same connector and then here is the thick black and yellow 2.5 wire that's on the diagram the black and yellow one that runs through to the main ECU plug as well now this one can also be problematic I'm told I've had this one tested I'm quite confident that it is fine the one that I'm interested in at this stage is this little black and white wire here which runs in to the back of the socket you can just feel it over there into the back of that plug numbered G1 and it's got to go into the terminal number 7 so the next step is to get this plug out and then uh, it's loose but it won't come out because there is a, a safety connector that needs to be released first on the side of the fuse box and then I'll be able to get this out and replace that wire in order to release the plugs on the back of the fuse board you need to drop it out of its cradle and then on the side here where these two thick red power these red wires come in there's a little tab now this tab 
can be pried open about 10 mil just enough to release these tabs on the back of the fuse board we need to do that in order to get that center white plug which is buried at the back there out I can now release this pin here well this connector now I get that out that's the G7 connector there's the little black and white wire there's a little black and white wire that we need to replace going into terminal number seven two four six seven as you can see I've removed the little black and white wire connector from this connector block I've marked it on the top there so I can see where to reinsert it and how you remove those is with two little small connector release pins that I didn't have one on my collection of 36 that actually fitted properly but you insert one at the bottom and one at the top and push them all the way back in above the connector you'll hear a little click as it depresses the pin on top the uh, little flap on top there and then the uh, connector just slides out the back of the block I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on the next one Thanks for watching.